Hey friends, welcome back. Today we're gonna be playing my Spin the Bottle TBR game for July and deciding what books I'll be reading and bringing with me on vacation and also punishing myself with. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it, but let's talk about it. <laughs> At the beginning of this game, every single month, we go over how last month went, and that will determine whether I get a reward or a punishment, depending on if I finished last month's Spin the Bottle TBR. Now, before I say anything, I read over 10 books. I think I read like 12 or 13 books, maybe 14 books last month. I don't know. I have to count. I read a lot. It, it's been one of my best reading months in this whole year so far, but I didn't read what I was supposed to. I was supposed to read these books, and I'm just going to let you have a wild guess at which ones I did not read read. <laughs> Listen, my excuse is going to be brief, okay? I started a new vlog series this month on my channel where I made this five-star bracket. Each group of three books will be a vlog determining who knows me best. They're all five-star predictions, one from me, one from my Patreon, and one from the public, okay? We're all pitted against each other. It's a really fun vlog series that I started and I'm really excited about it. You can kind of see all of the different books that will be involved. So obviously I will be reading all of these books like in the immediate future, but um, no, I didn't read Way of Kings last month. Month, nor did I read One Star Romance, which is a little bit silly. I could have read this for sure. I think I'm gonna read it on the plane this month because I'll be in the air for like 24 hours there and back. So let's see what I can get on the TBR for July. Since I did not complete last month's TBR, I will be drawing a punishment. I feel like the beginning of this video has been very chaotic and I'm sorry, but I felt like I had to defend myself immediately. <laughs> My honor was at stake and it's already damaged. Okay, I guess best case scenario, because there are some really mean ones in here, but the punishment that we got is add a spin. Those smiley faces are very mean, aren't they? So we will be spinning for six books instead of five. Hi, welcome to the game. <laughs> Each prompt that is on a little piece of paper is submitted to me for my Patreon. We normally spin five times, but whenever we get a plus one spin in some fashion, we do more than that. And there's often more than that. <laughs> the other thing that we do at the beginning of the game now is choose from my greenhouse compendium jar. All of these pieces of paper are books that I physically own. And these ones specifically are recommended to me from my patrons. So I choose one book every single month. Let's see what we get. Oh, I got Natural Beauty by Ling Ling Huang, recommended to me by Seiki but I actually read that this month. That was one of the books that I read. So let's choose again, shall we? Oh, fun. I couldn't remember what this was at first. Natasha recommended me The One by John Mars. My copy could be looking better. I've been wanting to read this for years. Basically the thought around this thriller is that there is a DNA test that you can take that will genetically tell you who your perfect match is. And it has no regard for who is married, who is single, nothing like that. So obviously tensions will be high. I'm guessing there will be a lot of ruined marriages, ruined relationships, chaotic things going on. And I've heard good things. So that's kind of exciting. Okay. We're gonna be reading the one sometime this month. Very cool, love that. And now we can go into the spins. So let's go spin for book number one. Guys, guys. <laughs> Okay, like we knew that it was gonna come up. We knew, I'm not even, I can't even be dramatic about it anymore. I just have to act like it's no big deal because I'm sick of it. <laughs> we all know what book it is, we all know. If you don't, then this is your first video for me. Just know that The Way of Kings has been on my TBR like literally almost every single month this year. And I mentioned that five-star book bracket at the beginning of the video because this book is part of that vlog series. So obviously I'm going to be reading it. Last month I gave myself like an extra punishment because I hadn't yet read this and it has already been on so many TBRs. I told myself that I would have to read Assassin's Apprentice as well as Way of Kings in order for it to count as a completed prompt last month. I did read this one, but I obviously didn't read this one. So now this month I'm giving myself another, another punishment because I am over it. In order to complete this prompt of a book that I've been putting off, this is the original choice, Way of Kings, but I'm giving myself two extra books for this prompt because I mean like giving myself more books to read, is that gonna make me less inclined to pick it up in theory? Am I hurting myself more? Maybe, but also the two books that I'm going to be putting on this prompt as well are the other two books that are going to be in the vlog for this five star showdown episode. So the other two books that I really haven't necessarily been putting off, but I'm going to put on this prompt because something's gotta give <laughs> are Age of Myth by Michael J. Sullivan, as well as Ruin of Kings by Jen Lyons. This is a thick, prompt. <laughs> but this episode will be a lot of fun. I think it'll probably come out at the beginning of August, uh, but I plan on reading all three of these this month. If The Way of Kings is on my August TBR, like, I, I won't be able to show my face, okay? I will not tolerate it. <laughs> all of these pages are for spin number one. That's so rude. I deserve it though. <laughs> I, I deserve it. <laughs> Let's go on for spin number two. <laughs> Okay, spin number 
two, we got a nightmare prompt. I think last game started out very similarly to this one and my board is officially done with me. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. I, I am too. But the prompt we got is an author that intimidates you or read a book by an author that you haven't liked a book that you've read from them before. I'm going to go with the former, the author that intimidates you. <laughs> and it's not even that like I'm super intimidated by this author, but I'm giving myself two options. The first one I'm going to choose is The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. I read Song for the Wild Built and really liked it, but this book in particular is so beloved by so many people that I'm a little bit intimidated to read it because it's a sci-fi and I don't read a ton of sci-fi. So I'm worried that if I read it, I'm not going to like it. And then there's going to be a lot of people that are like, no, it's actually really good. And then maybe, I don't know, my thoughts won't align. So I'm a little bit intimidated by it, but I I do think that I could like it. So this is one of the books I'm going to choose because from my understanding, it's supposed to be like kind of funny and this might be a good book to read during my travels as well. Kind of like uplift my spirits, you know, <laughs> during the long flights and layovers. So I'm going to choose this one, but I'm also going to put on The Anthropocene Reviewed by John Green because I don't think that I've ever read John Green before. And I'm so unsure if I have, if I have, it, I was really young and I don't remember, but John Green and I live in the same city and I am so scared that maybe one day I'll run into him and won't know what the heck to say because I've never read his words. <laughs> and I've heard that this one's really good. I've been wanting to read some more nonfiction. I've heard from multiple people that this was one of their favorite books of the year that it came out. But my question to the general public is, is this too heavy? Will this put me in a weird mood during my travels? Because I know it was written around COVID. So like, I don't know how heavy it would be. Can you let me know? I would appreciate that. I don't know if I should save this for like when I get back home from my travels or not. But I do want to read this. So I'm going to hesitantly put this on the TBR as well. Well, until then, let's go on for spin number three. Spin number three is a fun one. It is literary birthday and it means read a book where the author was either born in your birth year or it was published in your birth year. I was born in 1996 and I already know. I already know what book I'm choosing because I knew the previous book in the series was published the year before I was born. So I was like, oh my God, maybe the next book in the series is 1996. And it is, it's Royal Assassin by Robin Hobb. What a time to be alive. I read Assassin's Apprentice last month and loved it. And this is copyright 1996, stunning. This is book two in the Farseer trilogy. We're doing a read along for the series in my Patreon book club and everyone is having such a good time and I'm loving it so much. <laughs> Morale is high for this series and I'm excited to be able to put it on the TBR. So that's awesome. Let's go on for the next one. Spin number four, another really fun prompt. It is read a debut novel of one of your favorite authors. I actually sat here for far too long trying to determine what I wanted to do. Every book that I thought was a debut novel by one of my favorite authors was like their second or third. And almost every time I don't own the other book that is actually their debut novel. And of course I own many debut novels, but many of them are from authors like I, that is, that would be my first book from them. So I can't consider them my favorite author yet. You know what I'm saying? So what I decided to do is choose a reread read because the third book in the series is finally coming out and naturally I will have to reread the first two books in order to read the third book and the prospect of being in this world again is actually really exciting to me. It is Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. I love this series. I love it so much. I think it'll be really fun to revisit. The thought of just casually reading it and having a good time is just so heartwarming for me. Like I'm really excited to be in this world again. This is Tomi Adeyemi's debut novel. The third book in this series is coming out I think in a couple weeks. So this is perfect. I can't wait to cry in the middle of an airplane full of so many strangers. <laughs> but let's go on for spin number five. Spin number five, we got the tarot space, which is exciting. I don't think we've seen it in a hot minute. How this works is I have the major arcana of this tarot deck that I own, and we are going to shuffle them up and basically just put good vibes into the cards. Hopefully the card that I pick, I can use for a book that I like actively want to put on the TBR. So those, that's the energy. It's the energy that I'm putting into these cards. Mm, let's pick, I don't know, this one's kind of like sticking out at me. Oh, fun. Stunning. I love the Empress. She's my girl. This predetermined prompt is either a mood read, <laughs> hello, or read a book with a female protagonist. 
And this book has a female protagonist and it's obviously gonna be a mood read. Stunning. It's going to be The Familiar by Lee Bardugo. This is my book club pick for June. So our live show discussion will be in the beginning of July. So I'll be reading this really, really soon regardless. So it's very cool that I was able to get it on this TBR. I know I love Lee Bardugo's writing and I'm very excited that this is like a standalone book. What a prospect. I'm pretty sure it's vampires and it has like gothic energy set in the Spanish golden age. Very fun. Ooh, did you hear that? All of the sprayed edges were like still stuck together. How fun. But okay, yeah, um, The Familiar on the TBR. This little stack behind me is looking a little bit intimidating, <laughs> but now I have to spin again. So let's go for our sixth spin, shall we? <laughs> I think the board felt bad for me. <laughs> I'll take any pity, honestly. We got a mood read to finish off the game. Very cool. The game works in a way that I choose a main pick and then if I successfully read that first choice, for, I almost said first choice draft pick. <laughs> I guess that works. If I read the first pick and complete the TBR, then I get a reward prompt in the next game. But if I have to swap out the book, like say I chose one Star Romance by Laura Hankin, which is what I'm going to be choosing. And I don't end up reading it, but I do read one of the other books that I chose as a possibility, like Middle of the Night by Riley Sager. Then I still can complete my TBR, but then I won't get the reward prompt since I didn't read my first pick. You know what I'm saying? That's how the reward and punishment prompts work. But if you've been here, you already know that. And these are the two that I'm gonna pick. One Star Romance is my first pick. If I don't read this one, then I'll hopefully read Middle of the Night. A third one that I'm gonna throw on here just because is Housemates by Emma Copley Eisenberg sounds really lovely. I don't know what I'm gonna be in the mood for all month, you know? So this is, this this is the, the these, <laughs> these are the choices. We'll see how this goes. This is the stack that I have to read for July. <gasps> Whoa, really heavy. All right, very cool. But it looks like such a good month. Like truly, this looks like a dream. A dream TBR, but we just got it in like rude ways. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> good little mix of quite a few genres that I really like. So, you know, yippee. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here and hanging out with me for a little bit. If you are still here, then leave me the crown emoji down below in the comments. And while you're down there, please do subscribe and like the video. I always appreciate your support. And of course, be kind to one another and have happy reading. Bye!